Neuralink begins first human experiments. The tech we've all been waiting for is finally here. Neuralink has taken a leap into the future with its first human experiments. It's like a world where your thoughts could control machines or where your memories could be backed up like files on a computer. Neuralink's groundbreaking technology promises to merge the human brain with artificial intelligence. But at what cost? And will this innovation unlock unprecedented potential or open a Pandora's box of ethical dilemmas? Neuralink's Brain Interface On January 28, 2024, the first human brain was interfaced with Neuralink's technology. A total of 64 wires, each housing 16 electrodes, were intricately placed into the brain's cortex. This network of wires connected to a minuscule computer, embedded within the skull, marked the debut of the N1 ship in a living person. Its operation success was confirmed by the patient's stable recovery and the device's initial neuron spike readings. For years, Neuralink was a vision of the future. Now, it's a reality that's hard to grasp. A device akin to a Fitbit, lodged within the human brain. Now, what comes next? It all depends on telepathy, not the kind found in sci-fi, but a practical application allowing control over phones or computers through thought alone. But could this lead to controlling other devices too? Absolutely. The potential is vast, extending to any gadget linked to the user's digital ecosystem. Yet it's crucial to understand that this isn't about creating a sidewalk. It's about enhancing human capabilities and exploring the untapped potential of the mind. Telepathic control advancements, the initial trials focus on individuals with full body paralysis, aiming to give them back control over their environment. The technology enables them to type messages, browse the internet, and even play video games, all through thought. How does it work? By thinking about moving a cursor, the Neuralink device translates these thoughts into actions on a computer screen. It's not just theory, this capability was proven in prior experiments with monkeys. Now, humans are experiencing it firsthand. And it doesn't stop at computers. Any smart device connected to a smartphone can be controlled. Lights, thermostats, and even robotic vacuums are now within reach, all without a physical touch. But Neuralink's vision extends further. A second application, named Blindsight, is in development. Could a device implanted in the brain restore sight to the blind? Elon Musk believes so. The concept involves transmitting visual data from a camera directly into the brain. While it may sound like science fiction, the potential for this technology is as real as it is profound. Brain-Computer Integration Methods The crux of their innovation lies in telepathy, where the Neuralink device acts as a conduit, transmitting neural activation signals from the cerebral cortex. Implanted wires decode these signals, translating them into computer language through the N1 chip before broadcasting them via Bluetooth to a nearby device. But could this process work in reverse? just like transmitting digital information from a device through Bluetooth into the Neuralink implant. Here, the implant would then stimulate neuron responses in the brain tissue with electrical pulses through tiny wires. If these wires were intricately implanted into the visual cortex, the brain could interpret specific patterns of neuron activation as visual input. Consider a scenario where even individuals devoid of eyesight could perceive the world around them. While not akin to genuine eyesight, a rudimentary black and white visualization becomes plausible by activating the right neurons in precise patterns. Think of it as reminiscent of vintage Atari video games from the 1970s where each pixel could only be either on or off. Despite their limited graphics, these games still manage to create discernible images. Similarly, the envisioned digital brain vision might begin with coarse resolutions, but promises potential advancement akin to the evolution of video game technology, albeit at an accelerated pace thanks to machine learning. But do you know about BlackRock Neurotech? If not, then smash that subscribe button right now and keep watching till the end because later in the video you will find out about their journey in VASIB BCS. Interface Innovations Understanding the human brain is like unraveling a complex map filled with billions of pathways and connections. Neuralink aims to bridge the gap between the brain and technology. They have begun their first human experiments, marking a significant leap in brain-computer interface technology. Neuralink's approach involves inserting 64 thin wires with 1024 electrodes into the brain. These electrodes are just 2 millimeters deep into the brain tissue and spread across a circular hole in the skull. This method is quite direct as it requires opening the skull to place the electrodes on the brain's surface. Now, have you ever wondered how tiny wires in the brain can help us control a computer? The electrodes detect neural activity, which can be translated into commands for digital devices. Imagine moving a cursor on a screen or typing a message just by thinking about it. This could be life-changing for people with disabilities, giving them new ways to interact with the world. On the other side, Synchron, another BC that company, has taken a different route. They use a stentrode, a less invasive method that doesn't involve opening the skull. A stentrode is a wire inserted into a blood vessel, 
acting as a highway into the brain. Once it reaches the brain, it deploys a mesh with 16 electrodes that detect and transmit neural signals. Sacron's method is funded by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and has already seen 10 patients implanted with these neuron-sensing electrodes. The less invasive nature of this procedure could mean faster progress in human trials compared to Neuralink. Both companies are racing towards a future where our brains can seamlessly connect with technology. Neuralink's ambitious project and Sacron's innovative approach are paving the way for a new era of human-computer interaction. The potential benefits are vast from helping those with paralysis to possibly treating neurological conditions. As these technologies develop, they could redefine what it means to be human, expanding our capabilities beyond natural limits. Neuralink and Synchron The primary function demonstrated by Neuralink's current telepathy system is basic control over a keyboard, mouse, and smartphone device. Synchron has already achieved this function. They have 10 active human patients in their initial feasibility study that began in the summer of 2022. This gives Synchron a head start in product development. However, Synchron's Stetrode system, which allows for telepathic control of a smartphone, has reached its full potential. This is a limitation as it doesn't provide much of an outlook for the future. On the other hand, Neuralink's current telepathy application is only using a fraction of the total potential that the hardware is capable of. This gives Neuralink a long-term outlook that is almost beyond comprehension. Elon Musk has speculated a lot of potential outcomes, like curing brain disease, correcting mental illness, ending obesity, and interfacing the human brain with an artificial superintelligence. Now, there is no concrete evidence to say that Neuralink can actually do any of these things. But there's just as little concrete proof to say that it can't. All we really know is that we don't know the full potential of the Neuralink hardware. What if Neuralink could unlock the full potential of the human brain? Another BCI technology that is as close to Neuralink as anyone else has come is BlackRock Neurotech. Despite its intimidating name, BlackRock Neurotech, along with another company called Vanguard, are making significant strides in the world of BCI technology. BlackRock Neurotech's journey. The concept of BCI isn't new. In fact, almost two decades ago, BlackRock Neurotech conducted their first human trial. They used an invasive BCI similar to what Neuralink is developing. This type of BCI requires surgical intervention to access the surface of the brain. Back then, the technology was not as advanced as it is today. The best available option was to use an array of stiff, straight electrode pins. These pins, due to their size and rigidity, could not penetrate as deep into the brain tissue as the threads that Neuralink uses. However, they still provided a significant amount of bandwidth between the brain and the computer. This allowed BlackRock to demonstrate telepathic control over a computer, and even enabled a man who had lost the use of his legs to walk again. Now, if BlackRock could achieve such feats with their relatively primitive approach, what can Neuralink accomplish with their advanced technology? Neuralink's threads can penetrate 2 millimeters deep into the brain tissue, twice as deep as BlackRock's pins. This allows for a higher bandwidth connection between the brain and the computer. The potential applications of this technology are vast and could redefine our understanding of what is possible with the human brain. This year is set to be a pivotal one for Neuralink. They are just getting started and are poised to make some groundbreaking discoveries. So keep an eye on this space. The future of neurotechnology is here, and it is as exciting as it is promising. So there you have it. Now, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Until then, keep scrolling.